The Internet Communication Protocol links computers all over the world. It relies on numeric addresses to identify each networked computer. Every node of this network is given a number, called an IP address. You have an unlimited number of IP addresses, theoretically. Uh, certainly, you know, you have some limits uh, in IP version 4, about 4 billion, but with IP version 6, you can, you know, you, you have a resource, you know, which enables to give every individual on the planet, that means the 6 billion individuals we have now on the planet, 10 million IP addresses. So, uh, mathematically, this is a limited resource, but practically, it's an unlimited resource. Uh, IP addresses are allocated on, at the moment on the basis of demonstrated immediate demand. You have to have a system in place for the allocation of IP addresses, because, you know, if you want to start a business in the Internet or uh, you have your private website, you know, you need an IP address and domain name. And so far, IP addresses and domain names are crucial. They are core resources, otherwise you cannot communicate on the Internet. Humans don't use numeric addresses to open web pages or send email. We use descriptive names because they're easier to remember. The domain name system, DNS, is a service that helps computers translate names into numeric addresses. If you think of the Internet as a, uh, as a post office or a postal system, um, these functions are essentially ensuring that the addresses on the front of an envelope work. They're not about what you put in the envelope, who sends the envelope, who's allowed to read the envelope, um, how long it takes long, how long it takes the envelope to get there, what do you have a price for the envelope. None of those issues are important for that function. The function is focusing on just ensuring that the address works. When you type the name of a web page, such as www.google.com, your computer first has to ask a caching DNS server to translate the name into a numeric address. The caching DNS server is usually provided by your internet service provider the moment you connect to the internet. For frequently used names and addresses, your caching DNS server keeps data in the local memory and responds immediately. Your computer receives the network address of the Google web server. The computer uses the numeric address in order to communicate and obtain the web page. The caching DNS server only remembers recently used addresses and even these expire after a while. In order to find the address of a new website it has to contact one of the root servers. Root servers don't handle addresses of individual websites at all. What they do know is where to find answers about names that end with .com or .org, for example. They refer requests to top-level domain name servers for each of these generic domains. <laughs>